Hello everyone, I'm Masoud. I hope you are all doing well. In this series of lectures, we are going to get familiar with long-term pavement performance or LTPP and learn how to use its database, which is named InfoPave. Uh, first, let's get familiar with some terminologies and answer some questions. The first question is, what is LTPP? LTPP stands for Long Term Pavement Performance, and it's a program to collect and analyze pavement data in the United States and Canada. LTPP, that is the largest road performance database in the world, is a research project supported by Federal Highway Administration, or FHWA. Next question is, what is the LTPP mission? Its mission is to increase pavement life by investigation of various designs of pavement structures and rehabilitated pavement structures using different materials and under different loads, environments, subgrade soils, and maintenance practices. The next question is, what kind of data we deal with in this program? LTPP new data, which is gathered by four regional contractors, is regularly uh, uploaded to the online platform every six months. The number of uh, Pavement test sections monitored in the LTPP program is more than 2,500 sections. These pavement sections include both types of asphalt and Portland cement concrete, um, or we can say both types of, uh, both types of um, flexible and rigid pavements. Road sections are across different states of the uh, United States and Canada. Also, um, Rhode Island Estate has one section in this program, and we will see that later. And the last question here is, what is InfoPave? So, this LTPT program has a database in the form of a website that um, we can um, find the link to this website in the, uh, in the Sakai. So if you go to the CV348 in the um, resources section, week six, we can find this link. And if we uh, click on this link, we will uh, be sent to the uh, homepage of InfoPave website that is the LTPP database and here this uh, web interface is being uh, developed under the LTPP program to achieve the goal of utilizing uh, LTPP data. And um, in the next uh, videos, we will uh, get familiar with the uh, menus in this uh, website and how to use these menus to uh, extract uh, data out of this uh, database in a way that could be used by us to conduct a research. So we want to um, acquire some uh, meaningful and useful data uh, which can um, that can help us to make a, a meaningful and um, make a meaningful research. So we will um, learn how to do that in the next videos. And I go back to the uh, a slide. So the. The last thing that we want to discuss here is that what types of data we are collecting in the LTP, LTPP program. We have um, 
four main uh, categories of data here, which are structure data, climate data, traffic data, and finally performance of road section data. So four categories of data are structure, climate, traffic, and performance of road sections. Uh, here I finish uh, the first video. That was the in, an introduction to the LTPP and InfoPave. And in the next video, uh, we will um, discuss the menus in the InfoPave. Thank you.